good morning good afternoon good evening depending on the time and the location you are tuned to our channel thanks a lot for the visit there is hope there is hope for this disbursement the, the there is hope at the end of the tunnel because nigeria is too big for people to keep quiet and allow things like this to go so all hands are on deck a meeting was held yesterday and people are really talking tough if the government is with the money let them give the handlers if handlers are with the money what is happening so people want the secret to be exposed who is really with the money and what is holding disbursement delay has been has been long awaited uh, the delay is too long so listen to the meeting then later we'll break the meeting down analyze it step by step consult people see what what the hidden messages besides on speeches because a lot of things were said so you see at the other end see at the other end do subscribe do subscribe so that you get updated anytime authentic information about the grant and other money that is going to be disbursed to us is concerned see at the other end all right ladies and gentlemen you're welcome to tonight's meeting on mfm telegram platform um, this meeting is occasioned uh, due to the circumstances we found ourselves, uh, which one of the major, one of that is the delayed disbursement. We never believed that this is April, um, third week running. In fact, third week has passed, fourth week. Uh, we are already into fourth week because today is 22nd already. So um, we are not happy for the fact that one there is no um information about what we all expect secondly uh, for whatever reason that may be it is unhealthy like i said it goes uh it goes on to just um mean that nigerians are not taken for being human beings that is we are taken as animals sorry to say that uh because it's only animals you may choose to ignore um no information to you know and then um uh, we're not allowed to know it deliberately for whatever reasons maybe security reasons maybe also um the perceived enemies and all of that one way or the other um that may be a, a good reason but it does not go well for the generality of the masses those that are expecting this because there should be a way of communicating so there is no excuse under the sun why um we should not be carried along somehow uh, i believe government has all it takes in its past to keep off who they don't want uh, to be a part of this thing and that's it so we believe that this grant is unduly delayed very unduly delayed and um, no matter the excuse we believe that there is enough human resources financial resources technological resource to handle this thing um, in record time and uh, even including um, the presidential order which severally has been um, played down on by those responsible to have done this disbursement by now well um what we know is that at this juncture we have to put pressure to get our money even if they're working on it at this point really uh, is not our concern what we want is the disbursement and um we do not like the fact that we are being information blanked and we don't know what is coming up um unfortunately those that were supposed to have been fighting your grand pressure group they're not fighting i want to use this meeting to call on all grand pressure group that they should separate abdul razak and felix amopito who are grand signatories from all grand pressure group supposed activity of fighting for the masses they should separate them it cannot be that the grand signatories are quiet and all grand pressure group is also quiet 
because all grant pressure group they know the detail about the grant in which they have access to so for them to turn around and also be quiet is an error and let me remind them that it is because of their confidence in ken wakama that made the masses to go and subscribe for the grant which normally a grant should not be subscribed for all the money is paid to apostle ken sanctuary wealth or uaag was done because of the confidence built by our grand pressure group who didn't see anything wrong in doing so so if they were part of this at this point where they now have access to grants they shouldn't be shying away when the masses say come out and talk come out and speak come out and respond I believe they are intelligent people in all grand project group to have known how to have known how to communicate how to decode and communicate to the masses not the type that uh ustaz Daoud does we don't understand your parables to be quite frank with you we don't understand your parables we don't need parables it wasn't parables that were used to collect monies so you shouldn't use parables to uh, you know to communicate with all we don't we, to, with all due respect we don't understand you uh who starts doubt if you think you're communicating at times we just feel it's heresy at times we feel you're just taking us for a ride at times we just feel that you you're just dining with your brother and coming to tell us whatever you like so uh, it, it doesn't go down well with us no matter how you people see it if it is a situation of government treating nigerian masses anyhow they like oh don't talk don't say anything the truth is that you're probably going to turn out and give us whatever is thrown at us and which is what we don't like really that we are not able to maybe we are not in government or we are not maybe communicating with government directly does not also mean that we shouldn't have a say after all let me remind all of us that this is non-governmental money government cannot be exercising total control over something that is non-governmental this should be very clear to all nigerians this money is not for government it's not government money government can help us to make sure the dying masses get this money they can assist because of the money is in cbn at least yes so but for grants to, to be like a government thing you hear them say it is government it is government and yet the president has given an order so in between it is government and then the presidential order who is now to blame and who is deceiving who this is completely a non-governmental money and government for goodness sake shouldn't come in to interfere they can only help us and the way they can help us if truly it is a government is to speed up the disbursement process with all the presidential orders by now disbursement should come out if a pre if the president needed to do something under emergency it will be done like now 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 and i want the presidency to understand that that is not that is that it is because it is not we are not in presidency does not mean we should not have first class treatment as citizens we are as citizens you know uh, to be given topmost priority because we are masses what we are going through nobody in presidency is going through it what we are suffering as nigerians nobody in government is suffering it in politics today be it the presidency be it the national assembly be it the judiciary anyone that has a job mostly is comfortable but what of the millions because those that have jobs in nigeria they are not plenty but what about the several more than maybe a hundred million that don't have jobs this is how they mean the speed of response to a presidential order should be government committee or whoever this is what we should have but it's unfortunate that up till now we do not have this disbursement and we don't know what is going on so in this response we want to call people to come over to abuja and let us begin to press home our demand and act those that collected monies for these grants will have to feel it those that supported the more grand pressure group that gave the the, the the grounds for these monies to be collected we have to start putting pressure on all of them so if you're close to abuja you're around abuja you're in nigeria you can make to abuja come over 
enough is enough if nobody's feeling our pains enough is enough we want to express that we are feeling a lot of pains people are dying under our watch and no serious government should close their eye towards us no serious group leading should close their eye towards all grand pressure groups should not close their eye towards and are dying masses i say nothing is wrong UAAG should not close their eye towards us because they are the ones directly to be blamed. So we call on Nigerians to enter Abuja and prepare for action. If by Wednesday we don't see this money, we will lawfully press home our demands. We will lawfully press home our demands and there is no backing down. Enough is enough. We can't be treated like animals. Let the president know this. We cannot be treated like animals. Let the government committee know this. We can't be treated like animals. Let UAAG know this. We can't be treated like animals. Let all grand pressure group know we are not animals. If the all grand pressure group they were supposed to have fought for, for, for their masses, they shouldn't be docile at this point. This docility is on on on, on is, is 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 not is not expected of them. They should separate themselves from the grant signatories. Otherwise, that means all grant pressure group, they are grant handlers. You cannot be taking a position as a grant handler or grant pressure group. And then you come out and say you're not a grant handler, but you're doing what the grant handler is doing. Separate Abdul and Amo Piton from you at this point so that you can fight. And then you can communicate to the masses. You can tell them something. Some of us hear information. But we need to hear from the source, those that are close to the ground, those that have access to the money. What is expected? What is next? After Wednesday, no, the matter they plea, we will go ahead to prison and all grand pressure group will not be spared in this. Because they were the backbone of Ken Wakama for, all, for the monies that were collected. Enough is enough in this country for human beings to be treated like animals. Can't for once Nigerians be respected? Can't for once Nigerians be worth anything? Can't for once Nigerians be loved and be catered for? Can't for once things be done speedily for Nigerian masses? I believe if this thing was for basically politicians, this matter would have been long, you know, you know taken care of. But because it is just masses, and remember, all of us are politicians. All of us are truly politicians. Just that we may not be in the ruling class. But we are all politicians. So at this point, don't, don't, don't treat us as if we are nobodies. So we want as many people living and around Abuja, come over to Abuja. Enough is enough. From Wednesday, if we don't see disbursement, we will lawfully demand for this money to be given to us. Speed should be applied to it. Nobody should say process, process. Process can be sped up. Process can be speed up. Process must not be slow. A presidential order can speed up a process. If it doesn't happen in another in, in Nigeria, it happens in other countries. And this should be the fact. Nobody that is supposed to execute the presidential order should be slowing down for whatever reason. Weeks are passing every time next week, every time next week. We are now, we are now approaching the, the month end and we are not hearing anything. It's not right. Before you start putting another policy to us now and tell us that uh, it is month end, that banks don't do this and don't do that. We don't want to hear of that. This is ill treatment of the masses. And we want to say enough is enough. So, we want to support the fact that we should, you know, gather in Abuja and begin. And once we are in Abuja and we start to make moves, there is no going back if we don't see this boss mental. Till people enter jail, this is what is going to happen. Because we are all tired. Instead of us to be dying anyhow, let some people start paying prices for, for the deaths of Nigerians. Because enough is enough. So we are calling on all those concerned for this disbursement to ensure that they give us this disbursement. Let us win this day. There's no security that cannot be surmounted. Let me also tell those security agencies that providing this money is already alternative security also. Welfare is alternative security. It is when you don't have welfare in a country that you have vices. That means you have deliberately provoked the people to, 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 to cause problems. And just because you have guns to quell does not mean you cannot be overpowered. Because Nigerians are just too many. 
if there is too much hunger and you cannot cope with your the system so the best thing at times even security agencies advise politicians to calm down because it's better to run something that is peaceful than to want to use the force you know the, the military to cope the situation if anything happens military too will die and it's not good so why not provide the welfare that will stop anybody from dying and it just just a little work is minimal work now for, for 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 security agencies the security agencies should not be overloaded because there is there is a there is no there is no welfare welfare should be provided that is the primary function of government and it should be it is number one that is shows the priority go and read the constitution the primary function of government is security and welfare and welfare itself is alternative security because if someone has what to eat has business to go he will not think of arm robbery he will not think of carrying arms or doing anything wrong so you've already done like 60 to 70 percent security taken care of the rest can be handled by the security agencies which makes their work easier so this welfare we are calling for is not out of normal it is in the constitution it that is the priority and number one thing that government should do so when we hear that they are saying that government is the one delay government is i am saying can cbn not make the process faster is this the first time such a thing is done even if you want to say that it's not the first time cbn has disbursed monies so we really want to use occasion and this meeting to cry out to government expedite because you have the government power you have the human resources you have financial resources you have technological resources in the 21st century to ensure this grant is disbursed this week let us wednesday it's possible whatever is going on you can help nigerians get out of it but again for all grand pressure group who get ken wakama to have what it takes to get all these monies from the masses from after wednesday we are going to put pressure on the system and whatever will be let it be we too we are nigerians enough is enough before all grand pressure group used to call for meeting tell the masses some of these other fighting groups shouldn't have come up if a grand pressure group did their job so there is a way they should have gone about it but at this point it's more of like we are left with no other option after when is it to start pressing lawfully for our own demands and make sure that we get our rights we can't be treated like animals this is where we are coming from so we call on abdul amokuton and pastor john get this grant to the masses after wednesday there will be no going back and you will all be implicated also we are not interested we, you will all be involved because uh, like now someone say abdul has been covering kane abdul has been covering kane because it's the even when they were looking for hall for verification all grand pressure group you were all involved in the in it so you have been backing him up people get money because of some of this backup so at this point that people need you to say something you shouldn't shy away call a meeting say something you have intelligent people there that can talk you know what to say to the masses you know how to filter information and communicate and this is it because the masses depend on this whether or not they need the money but you cannot also say because they need the money they shouldn't have the information about what is going on and like i said if it is a national security issue on side of government welfare provision is alternative security that does about 60 to 70 percent of the security work the rest can be handled by security agencies that means it is wiser to provide welfare which is number one point on the constitution to make room for alternative security for nigeria for for, for, for years for nigeria and so that it will ease it will ease the work of security agencies why do you want to use arms and destroy so many nigerians and kill all of them just because you, you have not allowed the money to come out or if the presidential order cannot execute disbursement who are the people that are supposed to make sure this money is, has come out after the president gave an order and yet it has not been done we call on the president to find out why why it should take seven weeks running now if not eight going the order from the president cannot be executed there is everything to monitor what is supposed to be done and we, we would like to say at this point as far as this is not government money we should not hear grant handler say that it is government that is in control we don't want to hear that from the grant handlers or grant signature uh, signatories government cannot be in control of what 
everything cannot be in the hands of government or what does not belong to government. How can that be? So we hold the grant signatories responsible for the grant. This is where we stand. And therefore, we ask for people coming to Abuja any moment, we'll occupy anyway. We'll occupy the grant handlers houses. we we'll look for them in Abuja. It's a right that they made us to pay monies. And we're going to demand for the monies to be paid to us, the grant to be disbursed to us. So we would like the president to also know that they are blaming him and blaming his government. The grand signatures are blaming his government, you know, for, for not being able to deliver, you know, disbursement, as if disbursement process is rocket science that cannot be done in the 21st century. And this is our anger. And the delay is too much. The delay, for goodness sake, is, is, is ungodly. Nobody sees citizens of Nigeria. They don't like that it's even for the good. But how do, has that changed prices yet for us? Has that trickled down to the common man on the street? They, has the price of dairy changed drastically? Has the price of rice changed drastically? So things have not yet improved. That is why we are calling on everyone concerned, government committee, uh, Abdul, and the, his other signatories, Pastor John Aramu Peter, get this money out to the masses. So that we can all rest. So that this matter can be laid to rest. Sorry about that. So from Wednesday, we will begin to make sure that we make we make moves to get our money. And no grand signatory will be given a chance. Ken Wakama had a meeting yesterday, a total rubbish of the meeting that he had. And let me use this opportunity to say that Chibandi is going to come out tomorrow morning and make his address. And that everything is going on as planned. So no going back. Everything is going on as planned. Nigerians are tired. Let this message get to whoever is in government. And whoever is Grant Handler. We are not interested in excuses again. Enough is enough. Don't think that Nigerians cannot die for, for changes. They can die for it. And you will still change eventually. Let's see, Senator, a time comes that everybody is angry about something. So that no matter the force you use, the people will resist the force. Don't push Nigerians there. We have gone over this too many times. Let us not allow another, another of it to come. Because if Nigerians decide to die for this thing, they will die for it and there is nothing the government will do. You still change it. And see to what has to be done. So why should we get there? So, governments help the Nigerian masses. The hunger is too much. If the president gave order, then let that order be implemented as if it is the president that gave the order and not one commissioner of, 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 of a state. Those concerned should know this. They shouldn't spoil this administration. They should not allow this administration to fail because of people that cannot handle things fast. If it is the issue, be, be ready to give Nigerians good money. Don't give Nigerians meager money. Don't give us a, 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 a rubbish money. The economy is too hard. We hear things like 100,000. We hear things like 300. We, we don't want to hear that rubbish. 300,000 to do what? That is rubbish. What will 300,000 buy in Nigeria economy today? What wickedness is this? If, if those things are really true. Enough is enough of, of all these things. It will get to a point that Nigerians are not interested in whatever until they have the thing the way it's supposed to be. Let all those concerned give this money out before Wednesday. And let the right things be done. If at all, people will not be able to fight. There is God in heaven who will one day visit this matter. And justice will still be given to the masses one day. That there is no God. There is God. And one day, this matter will be given justice. So it is good for being in government, be it a, a grant handler, stand up and help the masses. This matter is over delayed. If it's over delayed, there is no excuse. With a presidential order means all protocols observed. You don't need to start introducing who is there from the first to the last list. Bypass all protocols and make the matter resolved. This is what we call a presidential order.
Six and seven weeks go, a presidential order is not done. What kind of country is this? What kind of country is this? If this you people don't know how to execute presidential order, I believe the president should act to show that his power cannot be treated like that. Enough is enough, and we are tired. Masses, the law is what we are going to apply and nothing more. Monies were collected from us to prosecute grants and we have not seen it. At times we are even hearing what you want. If you want to give somebody 100,000, how much do the person spend in the system? To get on, even if it's 300,000. We don't want to hear those kind of things. It's wickedness. We know what is possible. So we say between now and when is they let this money be this boss. If you people decide finally whatever I want to give, bring it and pay the Nigerian masses. Enough is enough. But after Wednesday, Nigerian masses will look for their money. At this point, we want to use this meeting to notify the president again that your order to CB and to disburse this money it has not been disbursed to up till now. Your Excellency President Chinubu, your order for this money to be disbursed seven weeks running, it has not been done. Please find out those that are supposed to have done this thing to spare your government this shame and embarrassment. That with this deep hunger in the land, up till now, they say process. As if the process is more than human beings. As if CBN cannot handle the process with speed. As if there's no technology to handle the, the process with speed. These are excuses that are not tenable at this time. Enough is enough. I like to bring my opening remarks to an end at this point so that I allow others to speak. I think the spokesperson has a few words to say and after that uh, the floor will be open for others to make comments. We might not stay too long but our message is very clear begin to enter Abuja, we don't have any other option than to ask for our money. Enough is enough. We are all tired of the whole delays. There is nothing, it's not rocket science because we have human resources, we have financial resources, we have the technological resource to get this thing done. We even have a presidential order to pack it up. Nigeria is not a banana, a banana republic that the presidential order cannot be done. Enough is enough. And if their personal interest, self-saving interest, it should be stopped or dropped in the interest of the Nigerian masses. So that this country can for once be fixed. And let us not think that this country will always be like this. There is God in heaven who will change this country and can remove and change anybody that is standing on the way for the progress of this country. So anybody blo blocking, the, blocking the, uh, uh, the power of the president should know that these things, they all have repercussions. And there is a God watching, even if the masses can't do anything. Enough is enough. Let the presidential order be executed as a presidential order. Because a presidential order came in because something went wrong, it was delayed, then an order was given to execute it. The process can be sped up by that order. If somebody has to work 24 hours on shift basis, they have to do it. To get the money disbursed to Nigerians. After all, the hunger is not smiling at anybody. Is it medicine that is cheap? People cannot pay hospital bills. People fall and die. After yesterday's meeting, someone died because it was more no hope at all. Because of the deception that is flying everywhere in this grand community. God help us. I want to end at this point. Secretary, if you are listening to me, uh, you can take over from here. Thank you. All right, good evening. Um, Engineer Takon, are you in the house? Engineer Takon, are you in the house? All right, if you want to say something, please show by lift of hand and I will allow you to uh, say something. Uh, like um, Chief said, 
he would use his money to take care of those that are able to make it here to Abuja. And then um, he will pay for the time. From there, we move. The truth is that it's our money. It's masses' money. It's not government money. So, uh, that is what has been is on ground. So, uh, tomorrow, uh, Chief uh, uh, Andy will, will say more about his plan. So, if please you are ready to say something, show by lift of hand, let me allow you to uh, speak tonight. Show by lift of hand. One minute, 30 seconds, not more than that. Uh, it's not going to be a lengthy meeting. And then we will, uh, we will close and get ready for uh, for action this week. Anyone in the house? All right. I will not want to stress people tonight because I know we also have network challenges because I can't see my secretary. I can't see the uh, official spokesperson. Okay, favor love. Uh, you are given the floor to speak. Favor love, you are allowed to speak. Good evening, house. Good evening, Admiral. Good evening. My own contribution is that um, for the information we got this evening, because some of our people I know that was in Abuja that came to my place this evening, that came from Abuja, so they were telling us that uh, the information they got that AGPN they are starting their disbursement on Wednesday. I don't know, but what I'm trying to say that why we I think we should give them the benefit of that. We should wait till Wednesday. If nothing happened by Thursday. So we can carry out our protests. So that's what I'm trying to. That is my own opinion. So because what I heard that they are starting on Wednesday. So let's give them the benefit of that. Today is Monday. Between today and Wednesday, by Wednesday, if nothing happened, by Thursday, so we can carry out the protest. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much, Kevin. Uh, Yes, uh, uh, we are already saying the same thing. That is what we are saying. We are saying that after Wednesday, if they don't disburse after Wednesday, we will take action. Anything after Wednesday, we, we will begin a process that cannot be retracted. We can't reverse that process. It is an irreversible reaction. And anybody that will be found on the line will go in for it. That is what we are saying. Whether we start immediately on Thursday or not, but a process that is irreversible to hold accountable those that are supposed to have given out this money will be set in motion and there will be no going back until the deed is done and that is the point we are making and the truth let me tell you you are hearing from people you are not hearing from all grand pressure group this is what we i i frown at if they are the ones saying it let them come out officially to say it using back to people to talk is never what is is normal that shows that you have something you're hiding and we hear that they want to do this we hear the one this is the same tactics with uag and this is not what is is, is it, nobody's happy with such so if they have anything to say let them approach the masses chivandi gave abdul 24 hours so he still has up he have up to, uh, 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 till tomorrow uh, uh, i think 12 or, or one o'clock or so thereabouts to to be able to respond for goodness sake, he's, a, he's, he's supposed to be he's a fighter. All right? And he's, if he was fighting for people, he cannot be keeping them in the dark for whatever reason. Now that he has done a grand handler, uh, the, the all grand pressure group should do what? Should, uh, should, should separate him from the, the activities of all grand pressure group, which are supposed to put pressure and not to be mute. I know they may be fighting on one hand, but they have to communicate to the masses too. Because people depend also on them. Don't say, oh, uh, whenever, uh, whenever we are ready, we'll come and talk to them. We see material now. That means you want, until everybody die, before you now come and say you want to give this. That is inhuman. And then it's very bad. All right. Um, any other person that wants to say something, show by lift of hand. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Favor Love. Um, God's power, Charles. You're allowed to speak. One... Uh, one minute, 30 seconds. God's part, Charles.
God's power to us. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, go on. Yeah. Yeah, good evening, Adbario. Good evening to you. Good evening to everybody on this uh, platform. In fact, I really love the idea where the idea where my, this uh, Mrs. bring now and what uh, Admirio talking about. 